Blessings, blessings, blessing everyone. Blessings from Eat Good TV, scissoring, savoring. Little is much with all in it. Today we are making Southern Fried Cabbage. Here are the ingredients we need. We need our cabbage. The cabbage is the star of the show. We need our oil, our scotch bonnet pepper. This is scotch bonnet pepper, but you can use any hot pepper of your choice. We need our garlic. We need our onion, and this is some minced garlic. Although I'm using this garlic, I use a little minced garlic with it. We need our peppers. We have green pepper, and we have we have green pepper, and we have red pepper. We need our sausage. You can use, this is Kilbuster sausage, but you can use any sausage of your choice. And we have our bacon. We have garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. Cut your sausage one inch. Cut your bacon bite size. Place your bacon in the pot for frying. Place your sausage on the side of the bacon. Fry until it's brown. Don't need to add any oil because the bacon have oil in it. When the sausage is golden, turn them over. Wow, smelling up the place. The aroma. Wow, smelling up the place. Remove the bacon and the sausage from the pot. You don't have to wash the pot, just put the onions in the pot. Crush garlic, one teaspoon crushed garlic. Put your stove on low and add the peppers. And just do that for two minutes. You don't want your vegetable to overcook. You don't want the onion and the peppers to overcook. Remove them from the pot before frying the cabbage. Cut your cabbage and remove the core. Slice the cabbage. Wash your cabbage in vinegar and water. I just pour some vinegar in the water. And you're gonna wash the cabbage loosely. Just open them and wash them. Make sure they're clean. Make sure 
sure you get in there and pull them apart and wash it. When finished washing, place your cabbage in the bowl. All this goodies in the pan, all this deliciousness in the pan, just add your cabbage. Add the cabbage to the pot. I have it, some seasoning in it before. It has garlic and onion and stuff in it, so it's good. Just add your cabbage to the pot. And then I'm going to season the cabbage with some black pepper, some garlic, some onion powder and garlic powder. And I'm going to let it cook. And just let it cook. And stir as you as you look at it, as you do it, you just stir. Family, you just keep stirring it and it, it makes its own water. You can see the water in there. You leave it open and medium. And just keep stirring it. And it just make it own water. Cabbage have a lot of water. You don't have to add water to it. And this, I had olive oil, but I didn't have to add any olive oil to it. I didn't have to add any oil. Because the bacon have its own fat. So I don't have to add any oil to the, to the dish. Let me taste it. This is, let me taste this. Mmm. It is very good and very crunchy. You can you can make it the way you like it. If you want to cook it softer, you can. I'm adding the bacon and sausage. Adding the bell peppers and onion back to the dish. I didn't want it to cook long because it will it will lose the nutritious value. So I don't cook peppers, you know, for long. So I just add it back to the dish. I learned how to cook this from a lady who lives in South Carolina, Hattie Mae. She didn't put this in it. She didn't put complete season in it. But I like a little complete season herb in my dish. So I'm just going to put this in it. So that's just optional. Complete season is optional. But it give it a nice flavor. Just let all the season combine for five minutes. Plate your dish. It's five minutes now, so just plate your dish. I'm Jamaican, so I'm just gonna add a little grace, grace scotch bonnet pepper to the dish. It give it a little flavor, you know, and a little heat. You need a little heat in the body. And there you have it, your Southern fried cabbage. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all my upcoming video. Love you family. Wish you all the best.